well, well, I'm going to call out a famous YouTuber from uh, Hawaii. He's a remote viewer. His name's Dick Algar. Um, he was all concerned about this little Komodo Gama wallet hack. Um, well, Dick, I got news for you, brother. You should probably keep your stuff on a hardware wallet. Not that all hardware wallets are perfect, but uh, usually because they're um, offline, they're hardware wallets, you got to physically connect to them or some other way of connecting to them that doesn't allow them to connect to the internet, which would prevent them from having your um, stuff stolen. Uh, I love that you don't even consider the um, implications of you coming out and being completely upset about Komodo. They're not ready for prime time. None of these cryptos are ready for prime time. No kidding, Dick. Uh, no kidding, Dick Tracy. Um, and I like you, dude. I really do. Uh, but I think you overreacted to this whole situation. Because in uh, my interpretation of what happened, um, <laughs> you know, Yes, is Komodo the perfect, most easy to use uh, cryptocurrency with their Gama wallet? No, it is not. I can vouch for that. And I know technology. I teach it. I understand it. I can wrap my head around I can tell you from a technical standpoint that a situation like this, I don't know, probably happens with most software development companies. I don't know. I'm sure Microsoft has just been perfect since they came out since Windows 95. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'm sure about that. What about Apple? iOS been perfect? No, dick. I'm serious, dude. Like, stop and think about before you overreact to something like that. Komodo has a solution to help scale Bitcoin. When you think about what they're doing and how they're doing it. Because... Anybody in their right mind knows the value of Bitcoin and the store of value. Uh, that's just the way it's going to be. Whether it's Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, maybe Bitcoin Cash becomes more. Regardless, my point that I'm trying to tell you is Komodo is platform agnostic. Their delayed proof of work will allow them to back up everything on their chain to the next most secure chain. And they have the fact that there's privacy built. Oh, and by the way, um, they know where this sh crypto stuff is going. Um, they're not guessing. They know. They can see. Kind of like you remote view into the future, brother. Uh, that this stuff is going to be adopted on a massive scale. So what they're doing is they're trying to create a really robust system to allow people to come in create blockchains to provide solutions to do what the blockchain is really good at. Um, I know your remote viewed Hedera Hashgraph, uh, but guess what, brother? It's not open source. I'm telling you something, there were a lot better technologies that were, could have been way better for the internet, but they weren't adopted because they weren't open source. Like HTTPS, come on. Like, there were a lot better solutions out there um, than what was used for the internet and that underlying fundamental layer that everything was built on. So that's how I see things unfolding, just because that's just the typical nature of how stuff unfolds. You've agreed that remote viewing isn't 100% accurate all the time. I don't take everything that you guys say as gold. I do take it into consideration. I'm not criticizing what you remote viewers do. I understand on a higher level that everything's all energy. Everything is all energy. Our spirit, our cells, everything. I get that. Do you get it? Because if you did, you wouldn't be out there spreading fud about how terrible this Komodo Gama wallet hack was. And if it was that terrible, oh, well, I go to their website and their support page tells me X, Y, and Z. Well, what the heck is even Ubuntu? I don't know what Ubuntu is. Listen, brother. We are so early in this stuff that 
you have to expect things like this to happen. And even when stuff is already developed, I can promise you we're going to have issues. You're not going to have issues with a blockchain, especially Bitcoins, because it's locked down solid. Maybe when the quantum computing stuff comes out, maybe somebody will find some holes around it. Maybe. But I'm pretty sure there's already solutions being developed for that. But when you come out and you spread FUD about something like Komodo, you gotta look past the dude. You already remote viewed it, you know what's gonna happen with it or where it's gonna go. I don't even need to listen to your remote viewing to know what's gonna happen with Komodo. And I'm not saying this because I've invested in Komodo. I'm saying this, I mean, who knows? I could have 10 Komodo to my name. I look at projects for what they're doing, how they're going to adapt, how they're going to adopt things, how they're pushing for adoption. In a half mile, continue on to US 22 East. Oh yeah, gotta do that. But anyway, uh, the point I'm trying to make, Dick, is you gotta be careful about what you're doing. I'd rather you stick to your berry smellings, because that's funny stuff, man. And you drop a lot of you drop a lot of bombshells with Barry. I appreciate that. That's funny stuff. It's entertaining, and it's information. But I think you need to come out with an apology about the Komodo video. Continue on US 22 East for one and a half miles. The video that you did. Um, and tell people it wasn't all that bad because the developers caught it, and were smart enough because they're pretty smart developers. I can promise you that that these developers are smart enough to use that hack to protect people's funds. I already did a video for my subscribers, my lousy 130 subscribers or whatever it is now, compared to your 15,000 that were probably given to you by old Snippy and Big Zweer. I don't want to say that they were just given to you, but they did help you out a lot. Again, I don't not like you, brother. I do like you. I like what you do. I like what you're bringing to the crypto sphere. But you need to apologize, man. Like, Komodo is a very strong crypto project that has the ability to be around a very, very, very long time. Because as we move forward, interoperability is what's gonna is what will make any blockchain last. If they are stuck in their own little world that this is the way we do things and we don't interact with other people, you ain't gonna make it. I don't care how great the technology is. I don't care if it's feeless. I don't care how decentralized it is. If it's not able to interact with other blockchains and other systems that aren't even part of the blockchain. If it can't interact on that level, it won't survive. It just won't. You know it, and I know it. So, my subscribers, I'm sorry if I went off on a little bit of In a rain. quarter mile, take the Pennsylvania 286 East Golden Mile Highway exit. Sorry about my GPS. I'm on my way home from a little gathering with some fellow teachers. But anyway, hope you're all doing well. Take the Pennsylvania 286 East exit. Dick, I still love you, brother. I'm trying to be like, you know, that true brother. Continue on Pennsylvania 286 East for one and a half miles. It tells you when you should continue on. Continue on, my friend. But I'm letting you know you're wrong with your video, dude. Still love you. All right, love, peace, chicken grease. Like, subscribe. Make sure Dick sees this, because I didn't like that video at all. And I'm calling him out. And that's okay. Again, Dick, I'm not trying to call you a jerk because I like you, I respect you, and I have a lot of appreciation for what you do. I can't do it. I haven't tuned my antenna to do what you do. I'm not going to stop listening to you. I still love you, man. So, hey, you guys have a great weekend. Pay attention to those charts. I think we're going to see a pump up, then a drop down. And then my beat will fall till we actually start really ticking up like crazy. Some of the alts might be good to get into. Probably like Litecoin. Maybe XRP, even though I don't like it. Maybe Redcoin. Mm, Digibyte's a steal right now. Um, Komodo. <laughs> All right. 
Love you guys. And we will see you on Monday. Peace.